So guys, the time has come. I've actually been holding on to this ammo for a little while. Uh, it's actually become a little more available through grilling ammunitions ever since they moved uh, to the new location, so. Subsonics, 300 grain, CR Match Kings. Bought quite a few boxes of these. So I would imagine it's gonna take longer for my suppressor to come or get approved. But as of right now, it actually didn't take too much longer. I think the uh, I got the Q short chop, which uh, in this next clip, I'll actually be going to my range to you know have a little conjugal visit with my SBR and suppressor. But uh, so I got 285 grain fracturing rounds. And I got a little bit of Callaway ballistics. I'm hoping this shoots pretty good because it actually costs more than this stuff, and this stuff looks a little nicer. So it's roughly about 50, 55 a box before tax and shipping and all that. So loaded up on these two tens. Probably gonna shoot sub or supersonic quite a bit, but I'm gonna be throwing my EOTech on there. Five to twenty-five H fifty nine reticle, one five four mount. Yeah, and there we are, the Q-Fix, 12-inch, 8.6 blackout, the short shot. Finally getting around to shooting this, Q-Short shot. So we're going to Barnes. TSX 210 grain first. This is my second set of uh, under here for the top four. And so we are going to should we suppress not the suppress today. Okay, so I wasn't very supported. I was not expecting that much from the supersonic. So I'm kind of laughing my ass off too at that, the face I made with that recoil. But the subsonics were perfect though. Supersonics are a little spicy. accuracy with the supersonic the 210 barns that's three shots on the a first shot mounting it was right here second shot third fourth fifth sixth pretty good so i would imagine it wouldn't be too much just widespread out at 100. i'll do that at a later time once i get this outdoors and my tax stamp approved and whatnot So I go on in this video to talk about how the Callaway Ballistics, I don't know what they did with their seating depth on the bullet or whatnot, but they just, I would legit have to put some force forward and down on the bolt throw lever in order to get that to go in a battery. It was just shy, but hey, there wasn't an issue later on with the, any of the Gorilla subsonics. So yeah, I'm definitely not buying those again.
So I know it's not the smartest thing to do, but generally you can kind of feel the heat. Yeah, this suppressor never really got hot. And this is with pretty continuous fire. I never really stopped more than 10 minutes at a time. So, yeah, plus on that. Wouldn't I be buying these again? Well, let me shoot the subsonic from Gorilla Ammunition and then we'll revisit that. So, aside from that mystery shot where I was aiming here, pulled that one. Cause I was, I didn't know it was gonna fire or not. So, it's five shots right there. So, yeah, pull that one. So, I mean, it, it's 50 yards. 50 yards isn't really gonna go off a little bit. Just kind of give you an idea. I might go ahead and push that to 100. Make sure I shoot this vertical and horizontal. So, point of aim, point of impact. That's going to be for the 210. 210 Barnes, these three right here. Callaway Ballistics, point of aim. Point of aim, point of, aim, point of impact for this 300 Sierra Match Kings. Point of aim, point of impact for the 285 Gorilla Ammunitions, fracturing rounds. Shot well over 20, 30 rounds to this can, and it stayed the whole time. It stayed relatively just warm. Now it's been sitting in my hand for a few seconds. And I just took it off the gun. I shot the gun probably about less than five minutes ago. Cue short shot. It's doing work. <laughs> 